Arson investigators with the state fire marshal's office returned to the massive burned out rubble today and focused on the back end of the building. And they determined what happened here was not a criminal act. Instead, they believe that gigantic fire was accidental and the source could be from the roof of a lawn and garden store. I'm told investigators are focusing on roofers who were patching a roof with tar and a propane torch. The roofers were there from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. It's not clear if they were on the scene when the fire started 45 minutes later. The flames ripped through the historic building and destroyed 13 businesses, including a food pantry. Today, many people in the Garrettsville community and surrounding cities are bringing food donations to the Chamber of Commerce to help get the pantry back on its feet. In two hours from now, several of the business owners who lost everything will come together at James A. Garfield High School for a community meeting where the message will be Garrettsville will get through this together. Live on 5 in Garrettsville, I'm Bob Jones.